deaths and hospitalizations have fallen 90 percent since January 20th. The American people should be proud of the work that we've collectively done, and we want to recognize that progress in that work on July 4th. People who are vaccinated have a high degree of protection, and those who are not vaccinated are at risk, and they need to continue to wear a mask and, as the doctors have said, get vaccinated as soon as possible. At the same time, as we just talked about, there's a lot more work to do, so we're going to double down on our efforts to keep pushing more and more people to get vaccinated by making it, as Dr. Fauci said, easy. Lots of places to get vaccinated. It's free. It's convenient. So we're going to keep doing that. But right now, it's an appropriate time to step back and celebrate the progress we've made. At the same time, we've got a lot more work to do. Uh, Dr. Fauci? Well, Jeff, you said it very well. I mean, nothing has really changed in, in our policy. You're dealing with the, uh, a, a very important national holiday, holiday. The country as a whole, as I've mentioned and we have mentioned several times, has done very well. You can still celebrate at the same time as you get your message very, very clear. And the message for the situation in Washington is the same. And you said it very well. That is, if you are vaccinated, you have a high degree of protection. If you are not, you should wear a mask and you should think very seriously about getting vaccinated. So in so many respects, nothing has really changed. We are celebrating as a country at the same time as we recognize the fact that we're in a serious situation for those who have not been vaccinated. Yep. And the message is get vaccinated. Okay, well, let's close on get vaccinated if you're not vaccinated and happy 4th of July weekend to everyone. We'll look forward to seeing everybody next week. Thank you.